and welcome back to my channel Dhruvi Programming Academy. Today we are writing a Python program to calculate the area of a circle, square, rectangle and triangle. Let us start by calculating the area of a circle. Uh, for that we first need to input or uh, take radius as input from the user and uh, we write it in this way r is equal to input enter the radius but remember that radius can be either 3.4 or 3 that is it could be either a float or an integer value so we are writing float before the input statement so that whatever is the answer we get it in the form of floating point number next uh, since we need to calculate the area of a circle the formula is pi r square so we declare a variable say ac is equal to now we need to use pi uh, the value of pi is 3.14 and more floating point numbers too. So to get the accurate result, we import a module uh, named as math. So math is a module in Python which has a variable pi pi which can be uh, accessed only when we import the module math and it can be used in our program. So how do we use that variable? We write math dot pi to use the variable pi and the value inside it. So it is a built-in variable. We haven't created this variable. It is already inside the math model. So ac is equal to math dot pi into r into r. So it's basically math.pi into uh, radius into radius. Uh, R radius here is R. That is why. So it's pi R square. Okay. You could have also written the same thing as AC is equal to math.pi uh, into POW. That is power of that is to write the power function which, which is written by POW R comma 2 which means this is the base and this is the power so it's uh, R square so power, POW of R comma 2 is basically uh, used to write R square and this could have also be written in this manner which is pi into R square but we write it simply and that is why we have written the above one. Uh, then we calculate the area of the circle. So we write print the area of circle is and then uh, is. So we basically written a message the area of circle is. Then we put a comma and then we write this variable ac which means we need the value of this variable. Okay. So we move on to the next one that is finding the area of the square. So finding the area of square, uh, we'll, we need the side of the square because the area of square is side square. So let us first find the side. So we write s is equal to float of input enter the side of square enter the side of the square for those of you who don't know how to take input from user in python this is the simplest way we have written the data type of uh, the variable that we want the value as so here it is float because we want the side in float and then uh, we have written the input statement now input is used to take input from the user so float and then circular bracket open and close and then inside the circular bracket input again a circular bracket open and close remember to write the word input because that is 
the only way to take input from the user and then uh, inside that we write in double quotes any message that we want to print to the user so this will be visible when we execute the program we give spaces after this so that it looks nicer when um, we execute the program okay now for area of square uh, let us say sq we take uh, the variable as and then we write s into f because it is side square so here our side is s so s into s and then again we print the area the print statement is used to uh, display the output in python so area of square is and then a comma and then sq okay now we need to find the area of the rectangle we need two things that is the length and the breadth a uh, length can also be uh, 3.6 or it can be 3 so it is better that we take a float as the data type now what is float it is basically a data type which helps us uh, input decimal numbers in python so enter the length of the rectangle in similar manner we'll uh, take breadth also so float input enter the breadth of the rectangle okay and uh, just then we write the uh, we take the variable ar and then area of rectangle is length into breadth so we just do l into b and now our last thing is area of triangle area of triangle is half into base into height so we need to uh, take base and height as input from the user again we write the same statements float input enter the base of the triangle and then we write uh h which is the height oh i'm uh we have already written b for breadth so we can't write the same variable name so we're writing base and this will be float of input enter the height of the triangle So we are done and now we just have to write the formula. So we write uh, T, uh, T for triangle. So it's area of triangle. So T is equal to um, half into base into height. Now you could either write half as 1 by 2 or you could write 0 0.5. It totally depends on you. I am writing half into base into H and then we just print the area of the triangle and comma t okay so it is a good practice to give spaces after we have written our uh, statements or messages so it looks better when we print it uh, that means in the output so yes this is our simple program let us save it also uh, for those of you who just want the area of circle you could stop after these three statements or for those who just want area of square could up, stop after these three statements in the similar manner now um, we'll save it so file save as i'm saving it in my folder so 
here i'll save it say area and remember to give the dot py extension which is very important for python to understand that it is a python file we do all files and we save now we go to the directory where we saved it so i am going here see area is written now we do cmd and then we write python area dot py okay uh, let me get it near the program for you to see the program and understand better okay yeah enter the radius suppose we enter 5.67 so the area of circle is this now we enter the side of the square say 6 so it's 36 6 square then we enter the length of the rectangle say 5.2 and we enter breadth of the rectangle say 6.2 so did we not oh we forgot to print the uh, area of the rectangle print the area of the rectangle is comma ar okay we will run that separately enter the base of the triangle 5.6 a uh, height say 8 and area of triangle is 22.4 we had forgotten to print the area of the rectangle so we print it uh, i mean i run the program again okay now we have got it a, a length 8 breadth say 9 so we got a 72.0 you have seen the output but still again yeah so thank you for watching the video and i hope you've understood how to calculate the areas of circle square rectangle and triangle if you like the video do like it share it and subscribe to my channel be programming academy thank you very much